Good morning. This is Bill from Auto Europa Naples, and today I have this bitchin' Camaro. This is a 2013 Camaro LS. Uh, it's a six-cylinder with a six-speed manual gearbox. Now, before you don't get excited about that, it's a 323-horsepower six-cylinder. I mean, this thing is an absolute screamer and made it to a manual transmission. It's an absolute blast to drive. Uh, you can see it's finished in metallic silver outside. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's got kind of the uh, faux-styled steel wheel look. I believe they're alloys, but they're designed to look like vintage Rally 2s. In fact, the whole car is a throwback. It's, uh, you know, retro-modern. Uh, it is a beautifully designed piece meant to, you know, mimic very nice nicely the uh, you know first generation 67 through 69 Camaros and what a terrific job the Chevy engineers did it's just absolutely gorgeous to look at look at the sleek side windows the vents at the back all the little styling cues that harken to the original and uh, of course that absolutely incredible front end with the big fogs the big air inlets the sort of half droopy covered uh, headlights it is a beautiful beautiful car to behold stripes down the center of the hood and a beautiful cowl air uh, induction grill I don't know if it's an actual cow air grill it just sort of looks like one and you may get some air sucked in there somewhere but uh, very very cool uh, gorgeous roof line I particularly love the beauty crease in it with the shark fin antenna at the back uh, Chevy did an absolutely incredible job designing this car from front to back the Camaro badges on the fenders look at those cool mirrors very, very stylish looking. Everything is just super attractive on this car. Uh, let's start inside the trunk, which is the least exciting place, but uh, might as well. You can see, of course, it's got stripes on the back and a rear spoiler. So the uh, recall was done on this car. You see it's got the uh, spare key now instead of the flip. So uh, no more, uh, you know, hanging keys are going to cause problems. I love these chrome surrounded quad tail lamps again hearkening back to the early Camaros beautiful big trunk in here the access port's a little small but once you get in there it's it's enormous so you've got plenty of room to put stuff uh, I guess since it's your bitch and Camaro you'd be going down to the shore probably you know uh, lawn chairs coolers uh, you know that sort of thing maybe some bongs uh, either way you'll have room to put it in there let's have a look under the hood Now up here is an incredible amount of magic. I mean, 323 horse out of a six, you gotta be kidding me, this thing is a monster. And it's hard to open one-handed. Very simple, very nice, very proper, as it should be under there. Everything nice, which you'd expect from a nice low mileage 13 model. And again, this is the heartbeat of a monster. You get pretty good gas mileage and a ton of horsepower. And made it to a manual transmission. It's a recipe for fun, danger, and probably being arrested. All right. Let's go around to the other side. I think that's the easiest way to show you the back seats. God, I just love the window line of this car. All right. Well, maybe it's not the easiest way to show you the back seats. How the hell do you get in back here? I'm just going to wheel that forward till I figure it out. So there you can see in the back if we could figure out. How, ah, there it is. There's a thing in the back. <laughs> All right. Chevy did have one. Uh, you can fit two people back there pretty comfortably, no sweat. They'll be fairly happy, as happy as anyone ever was in the back of a Camaro. Okay, no jokes on that one. Some people are very happy in the back of a Camaro. Let's hop in and go for a spin. All right, so here I am nicely ensconced in the very supportive bucket seat. Clutch in, fire this bad boy up. I think last guy was driving it is uh, he's tall, taller than I. Let's move this thing forward. And right, look at that average fuel economy, 22.6 miles per gallon. That's pretty impressive out of a car with this kind of horsepower. Frankly, if I was driving it all the time, I don't think I'd have that kind of mileage. Let's get my seatbelt on so it doesn't beep at me. And in fact, I'm going to give credit where credit is due because I have been in this car for what, I don't know, 20 seconds with the engine running and it hasn't beeped at me yet. I have to really appreciate that. 
All right, let's get our e-brake down. Very much old school, love it, as are the gauges. Again, a throwback to the early Camaros. Beautiful multifunction wheel there with another phone call low in the video. Anyway, I love the way the dash curves into the door panels. That is a very, very cool feature accentuated by the two-tone. Uh, just looks absolutely neat. Uh, up here in the mirror, you can see it's multifunction. Lovely thin, again, they've really gone to great pains to sort of mimic the early car. No big frame around it. You know, it looks like those early glasses that uh, you'd get in the uh, in the 60s car. Of course, with OnStar built into it and some other features. Uh, you have a very nice driver information center there in the middle. I don't know how to flip that around. Let's see. Menu. Yeah, there we go. You get coolant temp, you get trip fuel, fuel economy, well, a bunch of stuff. Uh, everything very nice, proper. You've got your tack, you've got your water temp, you've got your fuel. Uh, over here, you have your infotainment system. Of course, there's your, uh, let's see what we got here. We got uh, satellite radio, AM. <laughs> have to have AM in an old Camaro. FM, we got our CD and auxiliary. Let's see the phone. On hard hands, free calling, very nice. Um, your climate control, nice little place to put your you know, pipes and other stuff. Uh, the traction control on and off. I don't know what that guy does. Oh, look at that, it's 12 volt. And it probably, again, is very similar to the way it was in the past. And of course, this fantastic, buttery smooth, six-speed manual gearbox. So, uh, without further ado, let's go for a spin. Yeah, I'm a little rusty on my stick. God, I love that hump in the hood very much. Again, uh, a muscle car feel. <laughs> I tell you what, it must be insane to drive one of the 700 horsepower versions because this one's really impressive. You don't get too many American cars down there. So, uh, beautiful clutch feel. I mean, the thing's new. What's it got? 30 something thousand miles? Let's see. Let's see. I can find it here. Yeah, 38,000 miles. So it's a fairly new piece. You know, I mean, it should drive nice. It should be proper, and it does not disappoint. Uh, you got great clutch feel. You got nice brake feel. The steering is nice and smooth. Man, does it feel like an old muscle car the way it uh, the way it shifts. That and 22 miles per gallon. You got to be kidding me. I believe this is also a one-owner car with the clean Carfax. You see that up on the website. And it's priced right. You wouldn't believe how cheap you can get this thing. All right. Well, what can I say? I mean, what a... Uh, let's... All right. All right, I can't. I can't. You know, and it's a piece. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to go nuts. Uh, it is a 2013 Chevy Camaro LS, 38,000 miles, one owner, Florida car, clean, 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 very well kept, manual gearbox, 323 horsepower, and uh, it's an absolute champion, a real joy to drive. If you have an interest, give us a call, 239 649 7300 on the web at MercedesExpert.com. Uh, come get this bitchin' Camaro, take a ride to the shore, you're gonna love it. Take care, and see you with the next one.